All right, guys. So what I'm doing here, right? The birds done ate me out of house and home with my with my berries, right? So over here on this side here, because I said I have berries pretty much in several places throughout my property, right? So I think it's like 40 feet all the way down, but the. Uh, the 20 feet, 25 feet on that side here, I, I cut them back, took them out. Uh, I didn't like how they were growing and stuff like that. So um, I harvested what I could and I cut the plant back and we'll go next year. What happened was there, I had a few canes there that I had left on there and they produced berries on there and they were very weak and stuff like that. So I got some nice canes coming out now for next year on that side. So, what I'm doing here is I, I just screwed in these little pieces of boards up there because I'm going to put this bird netting over. And I don't want the bird netting just to be over the berries, right? Because, you know, the birds, they'll come and just peck right through, <laughs> right through the netting. So, I'm putting the board there so, that, so it can hang down a little ways away from it so they can't get at them. So, I have a good, I have a good amount of berries over here, so... I want to at least, you know, enjoy these guys here because, like I said, you know, the, the, the birds don't give you a break. You, 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 give them, you give them stuff to eat, you give them water, you give them food, abundance of food, and they still take every bit. So, and that's nature. So, I'm going to protect these ones here. So over here you can see uh, berries are growing really nice over here. I got bushels. The same thing you see here on this side here, it's the same on the other side. And they're starting to change now, you know what I mean? They're nice and red and they're starting to bring in their color. And you know the birds can smell them and they're like, thank you, bull. We're gonna go over there and uh, eat your berries. <laughs> so they took advantage of me, but uh, I'm gonna get even now. I'm gonna net up my stuff. Right here, I have a this is a small little one of those sweet little pumpkins there. I don't know if uh, she's going to make it because on the other one that you see down there, that one's not gonna make it because the has got up in there and um, I didn't see it. So I wasn't able to do a little surgery on it. And that one right there is gonna die back now. So, but uh, while I'm over here, let me show you um, my buttercup squash right they're probably a couple weeks away from harvesting right like you see this big jumbo right here this massive um buttercup down there there's, there's another one there do a good couple more weeks and we'll be getting at those get another one let's see right, right up there there's another one there's two small ones coming in. This one's nice and fertilized. This is gonna be fine, just fine. This one here is starting to put a little size on. Down here we have another one. This guy here is thick as all she can be. Real thick. And then down here we have another one. So, as you can see here, we'll be, you know, a couple of weeks couple of weeks we'll be harvesting those guys there so but let me uh continue like i said I, you know i was putting those little sticks up there so the netting can drip away fall away from all the berries and um you know the birds are real slick you know what i mean they'll eat right through it if you 
You are loud. My AC unit's on, making loud noise, so I'm gonna do this voiceover. I'm gonna harvest these jalapenos over here while I'm over here. Few jalapenos in there and right now. More will be coming along pretty soon as the weather continues to be good. Go over here and um, pick some of these uh, bell peppers. That's not a bad size right there to get. That way the plant will continue to produce. I'll be quite honest with you. I hate messing with this stuff. Messing with this stuff, I'd rather just let the birds eat the, eat the berries, man. All right, man, I ain't got the patience for this netting. So, there's about eight feet over here that berries are unprotected. They beat me to them, let it be. I ain't messing with this uh, netting no more. I ain't got the patience for it. It's just, just too much, man. While you're putting the uh, netting up there and you're pulling, you're pulling berries off and stuff like that, I rather have the birds eat them than to mess them up like that. So I got a good, I got a good batch over here covered. So I'm cool with that. Next season, I have a, um, I have a better thing that I'm gonna do uh, with these berries there. That's why I originally cut those ones way, way back. Cause what I'm gonna do is. Right here, I'm gonna run them this way here, and I'm gonna put the put the uh, the hoop house uh, things over like this here, and then I can easily put the net in there, and I just keep I keep the berries shorter. Um, that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, like these ones right here, these canes right here, that you see here, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead. Since they're connected right over there, 
I'm gonna run them right like this here, and I'm gonna run it this way here and put the netting here. Um, before the berries start setting, and I, that's how I'm gonna do it. Um, because dealing with this up there is just too much, and that netting gets stuck very easily. So that's what it is, man. That was my netting job. <laughs> All right, let's um. I was earlier cleaning out, as you can see, it's a lot cleaner. I uh, cut this uh, patty pan squash vines out. I'm getting rid of it as of today. I'm gonna harvest the few that are still on here. I cleaned this out, but I left the patty pan squash on there so I could show them to you when I harvested them. Now this is a huge patty pan squash. right next to it ain't that much smaller either I think I have some just in time it looked like something was trying to trying to creep into there it might have even gotten in there so I see a little pinhole so cut the worm out eat the squash baby all right Let's glare something else. So here's three more. All right, so I'm done with the patty pan squash. Patty pan squash was good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this uh, pumpkin, right? It's, it's ready, it's ready to be harvested. Plus, the plant is dying back. So uh, vine boys might have probably got it. I, this is the only one that I uh, had. I had two pumpkins on here, but one of them didn't make it. 
This one here is nice. It's a nice pumpkin. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snip him off right there. And we're gonna let him finish off ripening inside the house. He's beautiful. She's already changing color. So she'll finish off. She'll finish off getting that orange color to her inside the house. All right. All right, so I have a nice basket here of food, right? The only thing I'm gonna keep here, I'm gonna send this stuff down. They're harvesting down at the church today and I'm gonna go ahead and send this stuff down there. Um, the only thing I'm gonna keep is my pumpkin. I love pumpkin, so I'm gonna whip this up and put this in some type of stew or something, but uh, pumpkin stain with me. They can have all these patty pan squash, the peppers, and all that so all right guys you all take care i couldn't I, I couldn't mess with that uh i ain't got the patience to be up on that ladder messing around back and forth and back and forth with that netting so i covered i covered a lot of them so that'll be good enough for me um and me and the birds will fight for the other ones all right you take care much love as always god bless pretty heavy. This is a heavy basket here.